Story Chance was designed for teaching story structure to young kids. Uh, we hope that this knowledge of story structure helps children further develop literacy and language skills. For example, we want kids to be able to effectively communicate personal stories about themselves, as well as um, listening comprehension skills and eventually reading comprehension. We see a series of steps that begins with a teacher modeling the story and ends with the children telling the story as independently as possible. What you're going to see in this video are the basic classroom procedures, and we designed these for a large group of diverse children. We don't expect that these would be prescriptive or intense enough to remediate language disabilities. However, we've seen great benefits with kids with language delays and English language learners too. So in the first step, I model the story, and then I place icons on the corresponding pictures. The purpose of this is to teach children that stories have an identifiable pattern. Um, we have modified the names of the parts of the stories just a little bit so it's easier for the children to say them and repeat them. But we do ask the children to say the parts of the story. If you're ready to play Story Champs, say yay, Story Champs! Yay, Story Champs! I saw everybody in there just so little. Boys and girls, you're going to have to tell this story yourself, so make sure you listen carefully, okay? Yesterday, David went to the doctor's office. David got a shot in his arm and a shot in his leg. David was sad because the shots hurt. Then he asked the doctor for a treat because he knew it would make him feel better. The doctor said, sure, here's a lollipop. And after he ate his lollipop, David felt much better. Everybody, what part of the story is this? Get ready. One, two, three. Character. Very nice. What part of the story is this one right here, boys and girls? Get ready. One, two, three. Problems. Very nice. What part of the story is this one? Get ready. One, two, three. Feeling. That's right. That's right. That's the feeling. Let's try this one. Everybody, guys, look. Sorry to put that in the right. Okay, what part of the story is it? Get ready. One, two, three. Action! Beautiful! Okay, what part of the story is this one? What's the very last? Ready? One, two, three. Ending! I don't know. Let's try that one again. Everybody's voices. This is ending, okay? One, two, three. Ending! That was very nice. Before I ask the kids to tell the story themselves, I have to repeat it again. They need to hear it at least another time. So in this step, we play a game called Story Gestures. While I tell the story, they do gestures that correspond to the parts of the stories. This is incredibly important for young children and English language learners to be able to actively participate. We know from the effective teaching literature that active participation increases learning and decreases behavior problems. So we have embedded active participation throughout Story Gestures. All right, boys and girls. We're going to play story gestures. We're going to play story gestures, okay? Yesterday, David had to go to the doctor's office. Okay, that's right. There's David. He's our character. The doctor gave him a shot in the arm and in the leg. That's right. His problem. That's the problem, right? David was sad because his shots hurt. Very good. I like how you guys are doing the gestures. He asked the doctor for a treat because he knew it would make him feel better. What's that? Action, action, there we go. Then the doctor quickly said, sure, here's a lollipop. After David ate his yummy treat, his arm and his leg didn't hurt anymore. Very good, that's the ending. Good job, boys and girls, very nice. In the team retail, the whole class acts as a team. This particular step is important because they're not quite ready to tell the whole story beginning to end by themselves. So they get the help from, they're working together to tell the story. And, you know, in later phases, they're going to tell it independently. But here, they're still getting support and working together as a team to, te to tell that particular story. In the team retell, I ask the kids parts of the stories, questions that will elicit parts of the stories. For example, I say, who's the story about? And I ask all the kids to form an independent but silent response. And then once everyone's got a response together and in their head, then I call on an individual student. And the individual has made a correct response. You know, I provide help as needed. But once we've got a correct response, I repeat it again so all the kids can hear it. And then I ask for a team response. So everybody responds together. 
Okay, your turn. Tell me. Everybody think about it, okay? Now it's quiet. This is, this is your turn to think about it, okay? Think about who our character is. Who's this story about? What's his name? Daniel. Oh, that was the story. That was last year, yesterday's story. Who's this guy right here? Do you remember him? David. That's right. His name is David. Everybody say David with me. Ready? One, two, oh, three. David. David. That's right. David is our character. Okay, everybody think about it. Shh, I need to hear. I need to hear you quiet. Eli, sit up, honey. Thank you. What is David's problem in the story? Everybody quiet. Think about it, okay? Tell me, darling. That's right. David got a shot. That's his problem. Everybody say, David got a shot. One, two, three. Shot. David got a shot. That's right. Okay, everybody think about it. How does David feel? A mouse quiet. How does David feel, Ethan? That's right. David is sad. Say that with me. Ready? One, two, three. David is sad. Very nice. Boys and girls, what does he do to fix his problem? What is his action? Eli, what does he do? That's right. Way to go, Eli. He asked the doctor if he could have a treat. So we're going to say that the action was that David asked the doctor for a treat. Okay, listen to me one more time. David asked the doctor for a treat. Say it with me. Ready? One, two, three. David asked the doctor for a treat. Very nice. Thank you. Okay, everybody think about it now. Mouth quiet. What's the ending to David's story? Okay, how does the story end for David? Karina. All right, that happened in this part of the story. But then what's happening in this picture? It's okay, you know it, Karina. What does he have in his hand? A lollipop. That's right. He got a lollipop and then he felt... That's right. Very good, Karina. Okay, boys and girls, the ending is that David got a lollipop and felt much better. Okay, say that with me. Ready? One, two, three. David got a lollipop and felt much better. Okay, let's try it again. It was kind of long, okay? We're going to say David got a lollipop and felt much better. Ready? One, two, three. David got a lollipop and felt much better. Very nice, boys and girls. Partner retail. This is my favorite part. The best thing I like about this is that the children get their award and they shine as, you know, fantastic storytellers and individually as storytellers. It's incredibly important in this step that every single kid gets a chance to tell the story themselves from beginning to end. They've been practicing it more in a group with lots of support. Here's our opportunity to do it as independently as possible. And it's very important that they get to shine as individuals. This step incorporates what we call champ checks. It's essentially um, a monitoring system designed for little kids to be able to monitor each other. And while the icons serve as a prompt for the storyteller, it also provides the listener something to do. And since he or she has a responsibility, they listen really carefully and they do their part. And in order to win their award, which is a trophy, they have to work together to be able to do it. So it really builds that team spirit. Um, when both partners have told the story, it reveals this trophy. And these kids are so excited to, see, to get this trophy. You would think that it was made of gold. Boys and girls, you're going to have to tell this story yourself, so make sure you listen carefully, okay? Yesterday, David went to the doctor's office. David got a shot in his arm and a shot in his leg. David was sad because the shots hurt. Then he asked the doctor for a treat because he knew it would make him feel better. The doctor said, sure, here's a lollipop. And after he ate his lollipop, David felt much better. I bet you everybody at some point has had a shot. Okay, boys and girls. You know what we're going to do now? We're going we're gonna to send you off to do your, your partner um, with champ checks, okay? 
Julio, you're going to go with Miss Katie, okay? Come here, Julio. You're going to be the champ checker first, okay, buddy? Who do we have next? Caden and Byron. Will you um, please allow that chair for these two kids to sit over there? Caden, why don't you guys go over there to your corner, okay? When they say this, to go to the doctor's office. And he got, he needs to get a start on his arm and on his way. Do you see us? I'm going to say. During the partner retail, I walk around to make sure that the kids who need the additional support are getting it. Because we're talking about kids of all language levels. Some are going to have skills to do this independently and some are not. They're going to need this additional support. So I walk around, I praise, I provide the prompting as necessary. But it's really important that I and any other adults that are helping out are very positive and enthusiastic about these kids' storytelling abilities. Yeah, check that. She said he got a shot. Then, then he feels sad because it hurts. That's right. So he asked the doctor, can I have a lollipop? Then, then he ate it up. That was good. He ate the lollipop. That's right. That was perfect. Very good jam checking. Okay, let's switch you guys. Okay, Sydney. Okay, you're the checker. Okay, Karina. That's good. Good checking. Oh, wait just a second. She didn't say how he felt. She just said it hurts. How how did David feel about the shots? There we go. That's the feeling. Oh, yeah. What did he do to fix the problem? He asked the doctor to have a lollipop. Good. That's right. He did say that. And he feel much better. Very nice. You guys are fantastic. Way to go. Nice champ checking. And you, Karina, will you guys show? Show. Show. Oh, very good. Oh, here. Show the camera what you guys got. All right, you guys can go back to the carpet now. Thank you so much, Karina. The CHAM ceremony finalizes this team spirit in the program. The kids hold up their trophies, give each other high fives, applaud for themselves and their friends, their teammates, and it is just so much fun to see how excited these kids are to be winners. Okay, everybody give yourselves a round of applause. All right, now tell me, if you guys are story champs, say yay, story champs. Yay! Yeah!